Hi traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with an overview of the harp trades taking this week. Some great trades on the pound yen, pound odd that we showed in the live scalping webinar. We're going to take a look at exactly how those developed. First of all though, be aware that trading for exchange and global financial markets is considered high risk and may not be suitable for everyone. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. And by continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer, plus you are aware of the risk involved when trading. Let's start with the pound yen on this currency pair. I took two trades in yesterday's live trading room. Uh, basically, that was on the 50 minute chart. We had a one hour momentum. As you can see, we took the trades uh, in this part on the right where we have an alignment of the moving averages. We have also alignment of the oscillators, as you can see clearly uh, red. And we also have the red candles clearly both moving averages. So we had a good downtrend on the pound yen. That was the first basis, of course, the trend to the downside. Then. We took two trades, one just before, five minutes or so before the live webinar, and also in the webinar as a scale-in, and that was in this particular piece right here. Small piece, but we did take two trades for plus 43 and plus 23 pips. The entries were actually taken on the five-minute chart. One of them was in this pullback right here, or continuation, I should say, and this pullback with the trigger, with the arrow. So those were the two setups, one and number two, and the exits were actually here and here as price was getting close to a pivot point and showing some potential uh, weakness as it uh, was making basically some struggle to break lower lows. So great setups there using the uh, colored momentum candles as you can see and the momentum arrows and all these momentum indicators. We can clearly see what direction we needed to trade, where was the entry and uh, we took the profit on those trades. Also, uh, basically we took trades on the pound odd that was on the Tuesday webinar we talked about that in the live trading room i was talking about uh, maybe that was an admiral markets in fact uh, i was talking about this particular setup right here yeah that was an admiral market tuesday morning and that was a short based on this trigger candle uh, i took a short let's take a look and you can see that the target was 194 because that was a big fib now price did accelerate a bit through that went down to about 60 bits below it but anyhow in any case it was about 100 and 100 pip uh, well, about 105 pip win, uh, roughly. Uh, I did aim actually a bit above 194, so therefore I think it was 95-ish, okay? Uh, the target was 194. I always like to accommodate a bit and go a bit above that. But you can see here too, clearly everything aligned to the downside, good momentum, and uh, we just had a good continuation of that, and I think that was a good trade. You can see how the hard charts neatly indicate that potential of a continuation of the trend and uh, show those entries as well very clearly, even on the hourly chart, using Heikinashi's and our own harp candles on lower time frames. All right, so that was a win. We got a, two wins, pound yen, one win on the pound odd. We also took a pound odd actually on the lower time frame that was on the 50 minute chart, trying to get a continuation within here. All right, um, a five minute chart actually. We got momentum on the 15, as you can see yesterday. All right. But uh, I took it on the five, but that was break plus seven, to be precise, plus seven pips for me. That was uh, an entry that was done uh, right here, all right, right here with this arrow. The thing is, I moved it to break even, and I got knocked out right here. So that was a bit unlucky. I moved it probably just a bit too tight. I put it at plus seven, and I probably just sort of put it at break even. I think I would have survived that trade. As you can see, it went a lot further than that for uh, this trade. I had the swing trade, that's great. I had this intraday trade that I wanted to add from here, excuse me, that you know worked out well, but I just only managed to grab seven pips. So that sometimes happens, of course, nothing can be perfect logically. Uh, next on the list was a loss on the Euro Yen, actually. Uh, I had an entry here as a swing trade, but I put the stop loss above these fractals. That just got knocked out before it really crashed anyhow, so the analysis was good. The trade management was a bit unlucky, you know, that, that can happen. So that was uh, one loss. I guess, you know, you can't avoid having one of those losses once in a while. So we had that on the euro yen. We did have a win on the Kiwi dollar, as you can see uh, here. I, you can see it very clearly, actually, from here to here. That was a great win for about 56 pips. Uh, basically, we got momentum on the hourly here. Everything lined up, lined up, lined up, as you see. It, everything is so simple to see using these harp charts. Four-hour chart two. Uh, this was a four-hour trade setup, I, I do believe, if I remember correctly. Great setup. Everything aligned here to the upside. We got our uh, special harp 
fractals indicating green light, green light, go up, prices in an uptrend, right? Green diamonds indicating that we're looking for longs. Very simple, very easy to trade. Uh, also had a trade on the euro dollar to the upside. That ended up in break even. I took it here. I actually said I'm going to take profit if I see a struggle at the minus 272 target. Uh, I didn't. I stayed in there. I had it at break even. Was hoping for one more push. It didn't happen. So I got out for break even on that particular trade. No harm done though. Uh, still thought that was a good trade and um, just didn't have enough power to go to that minus 272 target. Perhaps if you saw my Forex recap video on Monday, I was worried about that target. Uh, I know it was Tuesday, Tuesday morning. All right. So that's a break even trade. And uh, I think there's one more trade to discuss the Aussie. All right. The Aussie basically uh, took a long on Monday in here. And that went very well as well as you can see. Everything aligned. Once again, look at that, that ease, that simpleness of looking at the charts and seeing that everything is lined. It's just a lot easier with regard to the stress and trading psychology. And uh, yeah, basically the target price went to the target, even to be honest, even expanded it beyond that. So that was a win as well. So all in all, looking at uh, this week, we got wins on the odd USD long, New Zealand dollar long. Uh, we had a win on the pound odd short, uh, a small win on the pound odd short, a win on pound yen short, pound yen short, and a loss on the euro yen and a break even on the euro dollar. So all in all, I think a great week for the harp charts. And these are just a couple of examples uh, because I think that there are plenty of more opportunities. Harp charts, you know, offer a lot of opportunities. I do think uh, because of, of the ease, but also because of the multiple time frames that we're looking at. And we're always looking for trends, pullbacks, and continuations. And we can see it so easily with harp charts. So make sure, make sure to join our uh, basically our live trading webinars here and the harp charts here. Just go to EliteCurrency.com and uh, you'll be able to enjoy that. You can see that right there, in fact, EliteCurrency.com and you can go to harp charts. You can set up a entire free month of uh, June, in fact, with these charts and you can test it. And you can also have accompanying webinars to check it out. Wish you all great trading. Talk to you soon. Cheers.